What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hair C Financial. My name is Joe Brown, and I want to give you guys a quick update on uh, mortgage forbearance and deferment, uh, something that might help you guys out during this uh, during these crazy times here. Um, the background, the audio, video, uh, this week I'm traveling and so I'll be shooting from a couple of different places here. So that's why uh, the video setting is a little bit different than normal. Uh, right when the coronavirus uh, kind of outbreak started and uh, the, uh, you know, the government started to uh, push for uh, things to, you know, make, make things easier for people, a lot of the uh, um, uh, banks and mortgage companies uh, pushed notifications out to uh, all of their borrowers that said, hey, if you need uh, to apply for mortgage forbearance, go ahead. And that just means if you need uh, you know, a three-month period of time, six-month period of time where you're not paying any of your mortgage payments, that is perfectly fine. Just apply here and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can set you up with that. Now, I know a lot of people didn't take advantage of that specifically because the, uh, the wording in the original uh, forbearance option was that uh, you wouldn't be able to, uh, you know, put those payments at the end of your mortgage or, you know, go on a payback. It was like, basically, if you don't pay your mortgage for six months straight, once that forbearance time period is done, you'll actually have the entire lump sum due all at once. Um, further than that, it looked like for a lot of uh, borrowers, it would actually hurt your credit score to apply for forbearance. And so, uh, a lot of people didn't uh, move towards that option. At this point, it might be worth, especially if you need it, it might be worth taking another look at mortgage forbearance because recently uh, they just announced uh, that uh, for for uh, mortgages that are in uh, forbearance, you can uh, there's an option now that you can uh, look at deferment of those missed payments. And so they, they'll basically take those three months or six months of payments that you didn't pay and they'll just put those on at the end of your mortgage. So instead of that six months worth of mortgage payments, lump sum being due all at once, they're uh, um, presenting an option where you can basically say, you know, it's it's just, you've, you've moved back your entire mortgage by six months. And so, if that's something, if you're in need of a little bit of financial, uh, you know, uh, freedom right now, free up a little bit more money. If you're, you know, you took a pay cut or, uh, you know, your hours have been cut or something like that, that could be an option for you uh, in order to, uh, you know, help you get you through the next couple of months. <laughs> Further than that, um, if you were uh, unclear about how it would affect your credit score, check with your actual lender because there are lenders who are not even reporting it um, or uh, running a credit check. And so they'll they'll specify to you uh, in kind of the application process whether it will, uh, whether, whether they will notify the credit agencies or run a credit, credit check on you. Um, and so uh, some of them will, so it might hurt your credit score a little bit. Some of them won't, so they won't even be notified. Um, but ultimately, it is uh, true that a uh, uh, mortgage forbearance, even if it, they do check your credit score, will hurt your credit less than something like a missed payment uh, will hurt your credit. So if you're in a pickle, better to apply for forbearance uh, and then uh, hopefully deferment as well on top of that rather than just start missing payments. That's kind of the worst option. So wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. I will link in the description of this video, I will uh, post a link to the uh, um, official statement um, from the uh, uh, about uh, the deferment uh, being um, on on option uh, an option on the uh, mortgage forbearance um, packages now. So I'll, I'll put the official uh, statement in the description below so you can go check it out. And then again, check with your lender because the details <clears throat> and the rules might be different depending on uh, who you uh, who your mortgage is with. So hopefully that helps. Um, again, like I said, this week I'm going to be traveling here. So I'll still try and update uh, on anything that's happening in the market um, fairly frequently as consistently as I can. Again, it'll be shot with you know, on, you know, on my iPhone or camera or, you know, the audio lighting might be a little bit different than, uh, than normal here, but we'll still try and get you, uh, get you some information, uh, as, uh, as market things are changing pretty rapidly as we're going and, uh, really appreciate you guys, uh, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already appreciate it. Have a great day.